And right now, lawmakers are tackling what's becoming a common sight across Alabama. These stalled trains blocking railroad crossings, an issue we've covered here at CBS 42. Well, today the House passed a bill preventing trains from stopping on the tracks. And leaders say the trains make it harder for first responders to get by. We've heard that over and over from people in the community. CBS 42 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple talking with lawmakers and city leaders impacted by those stalled trains. Trustful Mayor Buddy Choate says trains blocking crossings don't just disrupt work commutes and school buses, but first responders. Just to go around that particular blocking adds several minutes to our service. That could be life or death for, for someone in need. Choate says the issue has plagued his city for the last 10 years, but has gotten worse recently as he says trains have gotten longer. I would welcome any help that could help alleviate that. Some lawmakers aim to do just that by passing a bill today 95 to 1. A train that sat in our track for 10 days uh, during, the, during the December time frame, during the Christmas holiday season, a train sat for 10 days. Representative Danny Garrett's bill says that barring any mechanical failure or federal law responsible for the train stopping, Law enforcement can order the train be cut, moved, or separated if it's been there at least two hours in emergency vehicles approach. The bill would also fine the train operator a civil penalty of $5,000 for every hour the train blocks the crossing, up to $50,000 a day. Several other lawmakers spoke in support of it. Like you said, sometimes just a poor lack of, of time and a poor lack of management and making sure that they can break those trains where emergency vehicles can get across. So I commend you for bringing this. Mayor Choate says he's skeptical the bill will be a cure-all, but he hopes it'll help. If this is the answer and everybody can live with it, I'd be happy for it too. I, I have my doubts that it'd be hard to enforce, but we would certainly try and I hope the railroad would as well. The train operator in Trustville, Norfolk Southern, said in a statement, quote, to alleviate local issues, we've increased hiring and staffing, are making investments in our infrastructure across the state, and will continue working with local leaders to address concerns at the community level. Now, if the Senate passes it and the governor signs it, it'll take effect the first day of the third month after its approval. In Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Maddie, thank you.